It might be morning, noon, or night. Could be raining, snowing, or sweltering. Whatever the situation, if there's an emergency, you can rest assured our brave first responders will be there ready to put their lives on the line to save others. So during this fire prevention week, we are getting a better idea of the role some of these real life superheroes play right here on Delmarva. We'd like to introduce to you the president of the Delaware State Fire Chiefs Association, Mr. Brian Reeder, and past president, Chief Stephen Deary, also joining us this afternoon. Gentlemen, thank you so much for being here. Thank you. And thank you for doing what you do. Thank you. It, it takes a lot to, to do what you're doing, so thank you. Give us kind of an overview of what the Chiefs Association does. Chiefs Association represents the, essentially the state of Delaware. Um, which is made up of three counties, uh, and each county has uh, its own association uh, of chiefs. And it's kind of a parent uh, organization that kind of combines everybody to try to get uh, ideas and uh, work towards goals uh, statewide. Can you talk to us a little bit about that moment when you realized you wanted to get into this line of work? Um, well, it was a family tradition for myself, so I'm a fourth generation firefighter. So that's kind of really what instilled it for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm a third generation firefighter. Uh, but uh, just uh, friends. At the time, friends are all involved in the fire service. Um, uh, so it attracted me. It yeah. attracted me to be involved, and it just took off from there for me. You've probably got some stories to share as well, right? There's probably plenty of stories, yes, so, <laughs> to, to share. Can, can you pick anyone in particular out that you could share with us? That um, if I had to pick one uh, humorous story, it would be one for a child that we responded to that actually had a teacup or a tea ladle stuck on her head. And um, she, she was very upset. She was having a huge tea party with, with her um, friends. So we, we went there and, and negotiated off of her head. And um, you know it was a very good ending to uh, kind of a humorous situation yeah. or her family felt humorous at the time. Yeah. So let's uh, look at the other side of that. What is the number one thing you see as, um, I guess, an issue impacting our local fire departments? Where do I start? Right. Um, statewide, uh, funding is a, is a big issue for the Delaware Fire Service. Um, I don't know how many people in the region know this, but we're more of a combination driven department system uh, now. I think uh, in the state of Delaware, we might have three 100% volunteer fire companies out of 60 companies. Um, and that's just uh, how things have uh, evolved over the time. Uh, we continue to manage with it. We continue to work with our elected officials. We continue to work with our um, uh, officials within the Delaware Fire Service. Um, and, and we're going to continue to move forward to try to find some kind of um, streamline in funding, if yeah. you will. Um, but staffing is another concern. Uh, we have, like I said, it's a combination system. Um, our staffing consists of volunteers who work hand in hand on a daily basis with paid staff. Uh, both are very valuable assets within the fire service. And uh, we, one thing we do want to give a shout out to, we have a lot of companies in Delaware who, are, uh, who have hit their milestone of 100 years this year. Wow. Uh, from the city of Wilmington all the way down to Delmar. So we're very proud of them, uh, their history, uh, and we're going to continue to support them. It's a lot of hard work. It is. But it's also very rewarding. Without a doubt. Without a doubt. It's something to look forward to every, every day you wake up yeah. for us. Yeah. Yes. So how can the community support you? We, um, we try to run a, a huge recruitment, rec recruitment and retention program up and down the state. Um, you know, we're involved with it. Our counterparts are involved with it. Every fire department um, in the state of Delaware, you know, we, we try to recruit the volunteers to supplement um, and, and help out during the days and nights to fight the fires or go whatever emergency that, that we need to respond to. Um, so really helping in that, that manner is one way to do it. All right, so Chief, uh, you, you just passed the torch, if you'll pardon the pun. Um, got any tips for him as he begins his tenure? Brian and I um, are good friends. We are on a very good communicating level, so we communicated um, throughout the meeting about passing the torch or passing the gavel, as, if oh, you okay, will. Yeah, yeah, right. And um, you know, my biggest thing was just keep moving forward. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you for what you do. Yes. And uh, good luck with your new position. Thank you very much. Just want to remind everybody that it is Fire Prevention Month. Uh, reach out to your local fire companies. Uh, they're there working, putting open houses together. Uh, interaction with the community so it's very important in October and every month really throughout the year so thank you for having us we appreciate yes, thank it. you thank you All thank right. you